السلام علیکم برادرس اینڈ سسٹرس اینڈ فرینڈس آئی ہوپ ایوری ون از فائن وتھ دا بلیسنگ آف آل مائٹی اللہ سو وداؤٹ اینی ڈیلے لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو واٹ از ون دا گریٹسٹ مومنٹس ان کرسچن اسکرپچر بٹ دا مومنٹ وین جیزس ہیز بروٹ ہم دا وومن ہو از کورٹ ان اڈلٹری اینڈ واٹ ڈز جیزس سی وین دا کراؤڈ وانٹ ٹو اسٹون ہر فار ہر سینز He says, he who is without sin mm-hmm. cast the first stone and the crowd go away. Astaghfirullah. Now, in the Islamic tradition, a very, very similar thing happens when uh, a woman is brought to Muhammad and he has her stoned. So, history of Christianity, more bloody or less bloody if Jesus was more like Muhammad? I think everyone would say it's not true. likely to be more bloody. Islam is about subjugation to Allah and uh, that's why one of the reasons why the Muslim world is as it is. The Christian world is, is as it is because of the legacy of Christianity. I mean, it's, it's from Christianity that we get the idea of rights. The prophecy Dr. of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the New Testament. As far as the Christians are concerned, Whatever is mentioned in the Old Testament, they have to believe mm-hmm. because that is part of the scripture, that's part of the Bible. Mm-hmm. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 157, they follow the unlettered prophet, which is mentioned in the law and gospel. It's further mentioned in Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6. The Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says to Bani Israel, mm-hmm. to the children of Israel, I've been sent as a messenger to you, yeah. confirming what came before me and giving glad tidings mm. of a messenger to come whose name shall be Ahmad. And when we read the New Testament, yeah. there are several prophecies of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in the New Testament. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, mm. chapter number 14, verse number 16. It says, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I shall pray to my father to send you a comforter who shall abide with you forever. Mm. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse number 26. And when the Comforter will come, who my Father will send, mm-hmm. He will glorify me. Yeah. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter shall not come. For if I depart, shall I send mm-hmm. him. Many of the Christians say that this Comforter refers to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now, carefully note the prophecy of Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7 says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. Mm. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is saying, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. Mm. For if I go yes. not away, the Comforter shall not come. For if I depart, shall I send him. The criteria for the Comforter to come is that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, should depart. Mm. Only if he departs, will the Comforter come. We know that the Holy Spirit was there when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was being baptized. Brothers and sisters, if you are enjoying today's video, then it's a request to you guys. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So when our new video will be published, you will get its notification first. So let's continue watching today's video. Yeah. The Holy Spirit was also there before Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born. He was in the womb of Elizabeth. Several hmm. places it's mentioned in the Bible. So surely this comforter cannot refer to the Holy Spirit. And furthermore, the word comforter, if you go to the Greek and Aramaic, yeah. the present scripture, it says it is paraclete. Hmm. And the translation of comforter, paraclete actually means an advocate. And if you go and do research, the right word is parakletos, yeah. which means one who praises, hmm. or one who is worth praising. Irrespective, which is the name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ahmad and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes. Irrespective whether it is Perikletos, the one who praises, or the praiseworthy, or it is Paraklete, whether advocate mm. or comforter, Alhamdulillah, all these meanings befit no one better than the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Further, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John. Chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, mm. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto yeah. all truth. 
He shall not speak of himself. Mm. All that he hear shall he speak. He shall glorify me. He shall show you things to come. This prophecy says, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, tells the people, I have many things to say unto you, but mm. he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Yeah. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hear shall he speak. You know, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whatever was revealed to him, he spoke verbatim. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hear shall he speak. Mm. He shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me. And we know Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has glorified Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the Quran and in several mm. hadith. We consider Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, to be one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was the Messiah, yes. translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, exactly. which many modern Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe he healed those born yes. blind lepers with God's permission. No doubt. So Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did glorify Jesus Christ, mm. peace be upon him. So this prophecy refers to no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet yeah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alhamdulillah, Bishop. This was in brief regarding mm. the mention of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Christian mm. scriptures. Time doesn't permit me to go mm. and give more quotations. But this is just a nutshell, the tip of an iceberg yeah. regarding the mention of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the various world religious scriptures. Mm. I would like to end my talk with the quotation of the glorious Quran where Allah says in chapter number 108, yes. Allah says, Inna aatayna kal kawsar, fasalli labbi ka vanhar, inna shaniya kal walaptar, which means we have granted him the fountain of abundance. Yes. Al-Qawsar. And pray to thy Lord and sacrifice the name of thy mm. Lord. And anyone who hated thee, hated Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he will be cut off from all future Allah hope. Wa akhir dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Brother and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you like the answers of doctors at the night because doctors at the night always give answers according to Quran and Hadith and I hope you have watched his video till end. So in the first part of today's video, we have watched a video of American professor and he is not a Christian but he is against Christianity and also against Islam. In the show, he was talking about Christianity and Islam and he was saying that how Prophet Muhammad and Jesus Christ made full to other peoples. Astaghfirullah. And he was saying that both were bloody. Astaghfirullah. It seems like he is anti-Muslim and anti-Christianity because whenever he speaks, he speaks about both religions. So guys, what do you think about this man? Please let us know by giving your comments below. And after that, we have watched the video of Dr. Zatha Knight in which Dr. Zatha Knight told us that that in Christianity and Islam, Jesus is our prophet because every Muslim believe is that prophet. Isa alayhi salam is also the prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was sent to Bani Israel and he also teaches about and gave the prophecy about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said that the final messenger will come after me and everyone have to obey him and he also mentioned about he will the last prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there is also mention in Bible that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be sending last prophet and the last book to his peoples. So guys what do you think about today's video please let us know by giving your comments below and if you are satisfied with the answers of Dr. Zakir Naik then it's a request to you guys please share this video with your friends and family members so they can get benefit from it and other request please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published you will get its notification first so see you guys in next video till then allah hafiz